All right, so for this one, we're going to talk a little bit about the drive. So Google Drive, we can get to a couple places. We can click on the Apps button and go to Drive. We can click on the Apps tab and go to Drive that way. We could even do a search for Google Drive. So there's lots of ways to get to it. So here I am in a student's Google Drive. What we can do is we can sort files um, in, in a variety of ways. We can just go start by creating folders. So we'll just go to new folder and we'll call this grade five. And now we have a folder called grade five and we can just drag and drop those files to put them into the right spot. I can also select multiple files and put them in. Or if I was in a file here, I can go file, move to, and now I can move that to my grade five folder. Other things that I can do, so I'll just refresh that. I know that file's gone. If there's a file that I want to get rid of, I can click on it. I can press delete on my keyboard. It's going to move it to my trash. If I want to restore it, I can just click or use the drop down and drag it back to my grade 5 folder. So I can also share folders, so I am in my drive here, I can right click and go to share, or I can click on a folder and click the share button, and now I can share this folder with specific people. So I can put in, uh, if I was a student, I could put in a teacher's name, and I can choose the permissions that, that person can have. So for a folder, I have two options. I can either view files, or I can edit files. By editing, I can delete and add to that folder. I can actually include a note. Um, there, here is my grade five work. And then I can just send that. So I've just switched over to my my email, and this is what that student sent me. She I get an, a message. Here's my grade five work. I can click on open and now I am signed in as myself. I have access to this grade five folder. So I can view those files, add files, drop files. I can go new, file upload. I can find a file that I want to include. So let's say this PDF I want to include with it. And then that folder will show up after it's finished uploading. Again, you'll notice that there are two types of files. These are different. We have sunken treasure ship. This is a Word file, so there's nothing I can do to it. I can't edit it. I can preview it, but I can't see where, like, where that spelling mistake is. I can't make any changes. I can open it with a Google Doc. That's going to convert it from a Word file to Google Doc file and then I can actually make changes to that document. So I can make changes to it. Spell check will work. Where did I hit the treasure? Obviously it did not quite get finished. All right, so now if I go back to my folder, I have two files here. This one has the W, that's the symbol for a Word file, and here is the symbol for the doc file. So if I don't want that anymore, I can press delete, and that file is now gone, and then I have this file. Anytime that I have something shared, there's a little character icon here. I can always check to see what it's shared with by just simply right-clicking, go down to share, and I can see who it is shared with. Because I'm in my folder, it is shared with Taryn Watson, who is the person that originally shared it with me.